In this video, we take a look at the star and bus network topologies. So the topology of a network is simply the arrangement of all the elements that you need for networking. Here we've got four computers and we could choose to arrange these in a number of ways. Years ago, these computers would have been connected possibly of a bus network where you have a backbone connection and each individual PC is then connected to this backbone. One of the major disadvantages with this kind of topology is you only need to get a break in the backbone and all the computers would lose their connection. An alternative approach would be to connect them in a ring as illustrated here. But again, you've got a very serious problem that if one of the connections breaks anywhere in the network, then all the computers are going to lose their connection because of the way the ring network operates. There have been a number of attempts over the years to try and resolve this problem. One solution with the ring network was just to introduce a double ring. But of course, this introduces a lot more cabling and additional technology and better solutions were on the horizon. The star network is by far the most popular wired type of network today. Here, the idea is that you have a central switch and all the computers connect into that single central switch. One of the advantages here is that if you get a break in one of the connections, then only the computer that's connected to the switch will be affected. In the past, this central switch would probably have been a hub a hub differs from a switch because it broadcasts the traffic to all computers on the network and therefore the security is much lower and the bandwidth is also much lower because of the increased traffic. A switch solved those problems by making sure the traffic is only directed to the computer that it was actually intended for. Now, of course, it won't have escaped your attention. But there's still a central problem. If the switch happens to break, then all the computers on the network are still going to lose their connection. So let's just pull together everything we've talked about and look at the two topologies that you need to know about for the exam and the advantages and disadvantages of each. So with a bus network, we have an easy and cheap technology to set up and there is much less cabling needed than a star network. We're not dependent on a central server or a central switch. The disadvantage is, is there's low security as every computer can see all the data being transmitted down the central bus cable. If the main bus cable fails, the whole network goes down and the performance can slow down quickly if there's a lot of traffic being transmitted across the network due to the single shared central cable. With a star network, even when traffic load is heavy on the network, the performance remains consistent. If one of the cables fails, it doesn't have any effect on the other computers connected. And there's a reasonable level of security as transmitted data is only received by the computer for which is intended down its dedicated cable. Of course, with a star network, if the central server or switch fails, the entire network goes down. And it can be a more costly topology to implement due to all the extra hardware and cabling required. Thank you.